Hey there, my name's Pete, and I like pictures. Welcome to this Lightroom quick tip. And in this quick tip, I will show you a new setting in Lightroom 6 and Lightroom CC that will speed up your workflow, especially if you're working on an older computer or on a laptop or on any kind of computer that doesn't have too much RAM. Uh, one update uh, from my side, since I had an epic hard drive failure lately, uh, I'm still um, trying to recover old files and, and uh, I still have a couple of half uh, edited and half recorded videos uh, about Lightroom um, on there. There's my computer. And so um, the next videos will be the second two fingers, the second and the third um, video about the histogram. And then, of course, the long-awaited video about working with skin tones. But let's start. If you do have the latest update of Lightroom 6 or Lightroom CC, in case you have Lightroom 6, it will be uh, Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 6.7, I think. Yeah, 6.7. Um, I have Lightroom 6 because I'm stupid. I don't have CC because, well, I was one of those guys. I, I, I want to have a real copy. I want to pay once and then have it and not rent my software. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I will uh, update to CC next year. Whatever. So um, there's a really a cool little thing uh, included in the latest update. And it will increase your working speed a lot. Especially if you're on a laptop. And uh, the whole new uh, feature hides in the uh, preferences. So we'll go to edit preferences and it is hidden in performance and you see a new checkbox use smart previews instead of originals for image editing and it already it even says this will allow increased performance but may display decreased quality while editing final output will remain full size slash quality what does that mean it means that if you have a smart preview um, of your picture. Smart previews are uh, a really cool thing. These are kind of proxy images. Um, they're previews so you can edit your photos even if your original photos are on a different drive that is not connected. So you can import all your shots or all your photos to an external hard drive. For example, disconnected still work on your photos very very comes in very very handy if you're working on a laptop for example so you can create the smart previews on the hard drive of your laptop have um, the origin uh, the original raw files or jpeg files in case you're working with jpeg uh, on on an external drive and uh, then as soon as you want to um, output them render them out you just connect the hard drive to your um, computer so you can work on your photos even though they're not there so th these are smart previews in short and now they even um, enabled the possibility or adobe enabled the possibility to work with smart previews edit your smart previews so because these smart previews are lower res version versions of your photos uh, they don't need as much RAM or processor power to edit them. So it will really increase your editing speed. I tried it on my laptop and it's really much faster, especially if you're um, using the clone stamp tool or the spot removal tool a lot. And uh, there's one thing. Yes, you might see um, a decrease where the quality might not look as good as you're used to. But, and that's a great thing, if you zoom in to 100%, 1 to 1, um, then you will still see the original photo. So you can check what you did at uh, full res. And then if you're outputting it, uh, it will, of course, use the original file and you get best quality. If you do not have smart previews of your photo, you see here original, oh, it, oh, boo, I'm talking too fast. Original plus smart preview. You can create your smart previews for um, either 
selected files or you can of course select all of them then you go to library previews build smart previews or you can do that even on import file import photos and videos uh, i have my uh, card in the card reader and well of course i have all of them uh, already imported so if i decheck that don't import um, suspe suspected duplicates so the important thing is to check that box build smart previews then the smart previews will be created for uh, automatically so uh, yeah that was a little uh, a quick tip this one's for today bye bye till next time there's an easy way to never miss any of my videos and that is simply to subscribe to my channel <laughs>